Hi, and welcome to a quick tutorial on using the website Science Daily. I'm Daniel Bradford, the Los Osos High Library Teacher. Why use Science Daily instead of Google? Well, Science Daily will give you up-to-date information. I've already evaluated it as a credible resource, so it has my approval. It's easy to email articles to yourself and your work partners if you're doing research as part of a team. And citations are built in. Science Daily will save you a lot of time because it's going to provide citations for you for every article that you find. Let's get started. Go to www.lohslibrary.com, click on the Research tab, then click on the Assignments link. That's the link inside that red rectangle. Then click on the Science Websites link and then click on the Science Daily link. Notice that there's different categories if you want to explore topics. Health and medicine, mind and brain, space and time, matter and energy, computers and math, etc. So if you're looking for a topic to research, that would be a good place to start. But I already have a sample topic to research. I'm going to research global warming. So I type it into the main search bar and click search and I find a lot of articles and related stories. You'll see a percentage match and that is the percentage that the article matched your search terms. Choose articles that have a high match percentage. 85 percent or higher is best. And I'm going to choose one that has a 100 percent match and is a fairly recent article from May 4th, 2014. It's called Global Warming Not Uniform Around the Globe. Some areas were recently cooling. When I click on that, it takes me to the entire article, and I see that there is a toolkit that makes it possible for me to email to myself or to other people, and I can also format the page for printing, and I can also share it on social media such as Facebook or Twitter. There's also a box called Related Topics when I do a search, and I see there's other searches I could have done. If I click on these links, I can research climate, environmental issues, environmental awareness, etc. So this is another way to explore my topic. My citations are already done. When I scroll down to the bottom of the page, I see Cite This Page. Citations are done in MLA format, APA format, and Chicago format. The only problem with this citation is that the second and third lines need to be indented. But otherwise, it's a correct citation, and your teacher may not want the URL that you see on the third line. But this citation will save you a lot of work because all it will take is a little bit of tinkering. You don't need to create one from scratch. So, remember, choose the newest credible sources you can find, and you can always find credible resources on Science Daily because it's already librarian approved. A database or a credible website is always better than just Googling. And always, always, always make sure that you save or email your articles each time you research. If you ever need help with a research topic or with your project, just stop by the library. I'll be happy to help you. My name is Daniel Bradford, and I'm your library teacher. Thanks for listening.